become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can. So let's get out of here together. When it says things like that, it... It just gets me pumped up! Which is nice, but still, everyone else is st still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Hang on, let's just scan the room first. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now, it's just showing the school crest. I should show him the blank screen. I don't even want to think about when he might show up on that thing next. Ugh. I'm not going to wander around, I'm just going to wait here patiently. There's Fadence Camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. I'm not allowed to mess with the cameras, so I better make sure I don't touch it. Now those things are basically like a lottery machine, or like lottery machine tokens. So you can get like prizes and stuff. Um, so what time is it right now? What? Seven o'clock? At night? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. I can't believe no one else, no one's here yet. But I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Tucker threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey. Ah, Makoto, Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll win, no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> He's a bit much, don't you think? What? Oh, for Pete's sake. Soon after that, everyone else came strutting in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Oh, that's close enough. Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver hair girl. Ah, <gasps> uh, oh yeah, Kayako. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <gasps> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up here? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting... How you do it, it doesn't matter! You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that! <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible! Is it possible? Was she really? 
No, no, I'm, uh, I'm just thinking things. Darn it, Kyoko! You're really gonna be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. How unbecoming personality. Um, a most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, do you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope Speaker Academy briefing meetings has begun. Um. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. Hmm, <laughs> you know. Huh? What's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. What a load of bullshit. Right, fat here. Oh no, I can't talk to fatty. Who can we talk to? Okay, okay, we're not there. Oh, no, that's not. That's it's not Kyoko anyway, that's Junker. Um. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see? Byaki and Teka went off on their own, so did Kyoko. I wanted to try and find some clue as to who was responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. Really? That's it? Hm. If I'd uncovered anything naturally, I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. R -r right. Understood. Um... You see? I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and Listen to me. there I made a discovery at a century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Oh. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. And each room key was attached to its keychain with the owner's name. Pres precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. And plus. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are like, totally soundproof. Um. The next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> While each room has a private bedroom which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there was only locks on the bedrooms and the girls' dorms. Huh? When I checked the, my bathroom door before it. Definitely seems like it was locked. That's weird. I should have to like, check that later. Hey, come on! Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen! What well, better to have that? What well, better to have them not? At least we don't have to worry about surviving like rotten animals. <sighs> th th that can't be all you have to re report, can it, Mr. Ernest student? Got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to what, whoever's next. Um, skip, skip, skip. Mm. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows in all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get those metal plates to come off. And what happened was, hmm. nothing, not a goddamn thing. Couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little what bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. School really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, bad, it bad, bad, really bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. God damn. Calm down. You're starting to make me feel nervous. Um, you see. Same goes for Hina, sucker. Armando. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? 
but even with what? Sakura and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desk chairs and nothing. Dude, shit. It was hard as, like, metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. Oh, anyway, this sucks. we're gonna get out of here. It's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating, to do with communicating the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there are a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But, but there are gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point we are only able to search the first floor. However. We can further assume that there be there is potentially we can further assume there is potentially something about the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Um, you see. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in a gym. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell are you thinking? Just sitting around a gym the whole time? <laughs> well, well, it's not like any any of you in, 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 invited me along. Nobody said, hey, hey, come with us. I blame you, you for leaving me out. It's, a, it's, it's your fault. <sighs> if you want to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> for, forget it. Like, I want to go anywhere with a dirty s slut like you. Huh? Slut? <laughs> your mind is as f thin as your body. You make, make me, make me want to be sick to my s stomach. Are you for real? I don't even know how to react. How can you just say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys, if anybody, just calm down, okay? I am bloody misdoing this voice. Oh, the stress is bad for your skin, you know. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Circa. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? And I guess I'm the only one left. Um, that's good. Oh, shit. I skipped, like, most of that. So I thought it was going to be the repeat and stuff. I guess I'm the only one left. I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. What? Sure for now, but even we've only got there are 15 of us. How long can you fool that? <laughs> you, you can just eat s sesame seeds or something. Huh? What am I, a perky? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um, At least that's what Monokun was saying. Hmm? You... You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that... Then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been... Moving him around with remote control. A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere? I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But but was everything okay? He didn't try to like eat you or anything? Huh? E either! <laughs> um, why eat me by yeah? I mean, wh when we say eat, what kind of eat are we talking about? Ooh. Are you making that innuendo? You dirty, fat bastard. I might change that to be Irish here, I will. Go, come on, man. Hey, you bastard. What the hell, Fatty? You're acting some, like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually, not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, hey stop screwing around, all of you. Are you just... Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. <sighs> She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You were spending a lot of time getting and carrying mm -hmm. on. I might do Mickey Mouse for her as well. Oh, shit, it's her. Okay, never mind. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Kyoka, where the heck have you been? We already started meeting meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. 
Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. Uh, a map? Well, what the? Where did you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter! You're totally... You're really freaking us out right but now! More important. Never mind that, what's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is... This really is Hope's... So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite is supposed to come and learn? But... But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Hey, come on guys, let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out tonight. The people in charge of Hope Speak and can Hope Speak put this all to get right. <laughs> Man, I got stressed out every time something like this happened. I'd have to, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You know? Good things come to those who wait right. So we just cheer. <laughs> so we just got to chill and everything to work itself out. <laughs> <laughs> what's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's, what's so funny? I am just happy that it's all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Look around, what a total waste of time! We, we didn't, d didn't find a w way out, didn't d f f f find who's behind us. We, we still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? It's, it is not crystal clear to you what is going on. Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious what we have been, that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> you, you didn't have to go and s s say that. I was trying to not not to f f think about it. N no way out. Which which you trapped here? What what are we supposed to d do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. <laughs> Everyone, just calm down, please. Do you need to stop and think about what to do from here? Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept do it? Do you understand? Lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is strongest or smartest. It comes down to who can Actually. adapt. As someone who has come out from top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be sleep a sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Let's see. So, regarding this night time, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But, but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. <laughs> we will be afraid someone might try and kill, and kill us. Huh? What? If we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it'll wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as to kind of preventive measure? Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We will all have to we all have to agree to follow what it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the whole goth like Goth Lady Lolita said, with something like that, 
we just gonna have to stop the stress. Listen to me. We just gonna stop the stress. But after all, man, here I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't decide to speak for this all of us. Fine. So everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then, if you will excuse me. Huh? huh? Wait. Huh? Wait. Where are you going? Let's see. It's almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. So, so I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Adaptability. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Uh, um, well then. What say we call it an end to today's you meeting? Understand? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvene the first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do, do we really have to stay in the night can we here? Do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Oh, this sucks. So we just have to... So we have to just give up. <sighs> That's all for fine and good for today, but wh wh what do we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split it off and look around again, and let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Then we've done for the day? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um, Makoto, Makoto, you really gonna call it a day? A day, Mr. Dong? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, fuck. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. Let's check out the bathroom one more time. I mean, the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Wrong! <coughs> <coughs> okay, Mickey Mouse. Bzz. Wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! <coughs> Jeez, talk about an overreaction! It's like you just saw a ghost or something! Wow, wow. Okay, slightly scooby doo but sure, let's give it up. Like some kind of robot bear ghost! Like some kind of robot bear ghost! Huh? What are you doing here? What? Makoto Diagi! This is super duper maturity and bear! So bad it's almost magical! Ultra magical! Awful, awful attack! Uh huh. In point! In point! In fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Yeah, uh, I'll just do that. Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? What, can you read? The bathroom in boys' rooms don't have locks. <laughs> I mean, a lock in a boy's bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? <laughs> well, it's not that pointless, I guess, but I'm not an expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway... There's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what? And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, ready? So, you just gotta turn the door knob, then lift it up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up. Why did that the door open? <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the only lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye. Hey, hey, wait. Damn it. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Let your friends kill each other, uh -huh. Yeah, fuck it, we'll do Mickey Mouse. Looks like it's night time. We all promise we won't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. 
My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not like I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent the entire day staring at a TV, watching movies. Like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on the first day of Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realise it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a nice, kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Help Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. You're deaf. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Circa. We can figure out where to go from there together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's a sight. I'm gonna head to our room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. So let's have a quick escape, actually. This is girl's bathroom, obviously. Oh, okay. See what you want. <clears throat> good morning, Mikado. Good, good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings. What a, a quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sh sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Okay, fine. Right, Sirka's ring. 